Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Thursday, May 12th. The opening sentence is from Colossians. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The confession of sin. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Antiphon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad of him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that err in their hearts. They have not known my ways. Of whom I swore my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen indeed. Oh, come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. We'll now have the Psalm readings and the New Testament reading. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 26 and 28, starting on page 298. Be my judge, O Lord, for I have walked innocently. My trust has been in the Lord, therefore I shall not fall. Test me, O Lord, and prove me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your loving kindness is ever before my eyes. And I will walk in your truth. I have not dwelt with the evildoers. Neither will I have fellowship with the deceitful. I have hated the company of the wicked. And will not sit among the ungodly. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord. And so will I go to your altar. That I might lift up the voice with, of thanksgiving. And tell of all your wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells. Oh, take not away my soul with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, whose hands are full of wickedness, and their right hand full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk innocently. Oh, deliver me and be merciful unto me. My foot stands firm. I will praise the Lord in the congregations. Psalm 28. And to you will I cry, O Lord, my rock, do not be deaf to my prayer. Lest, if you do not answer, I become like those who go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my humble petitions when I cry unto you. When I hold up my hands toward the sanctuary of your holy temple. O cast me not away, neither destroy me with the ungodly and evildoers. Who speak as friends to their neighbors, but imagine evil in their hearts. Reward them according to their deeds. And according to the wickedness of their own inventions. Recompense them according to the work of their hands. Pay them what they have deserved. For they regard not in their mind 
the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. Therefore he shall break them down and not build them up. Praised be the Lord. For he has heard the voice of my humble petitions. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength. And he is the sure defense of his anointed. O oh, save your people and give your blessing to your inheritance. Feed them and lift them up forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading for today is a, a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke, beginning with the seventh chapter, the 36th verse. A sinful woman forgiven. One of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. And behold, a woman of the city, who was a sinner, when she learned that, the, that he was reclining at the table of the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisees who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is and who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering him, and Jesus answering said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he answered, say it, teacher. A certain money lender had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii, the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, the one, I suppose, for whom he canceled the larger debt. And he said to him, you have judged rightly. Then, turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her hair, or with her tears, and wiped them with, them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, for she loved much, but he who is forgiven little loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Then those who are at the table with him began to say among themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle for today is the Gloria. This is found on page 107 in your prayer book. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And together the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Call it for the Thursday after the fourth Sunday of Easter. O God, who sent Jesus Christ to the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Now the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the organization you give us in our churches that we might be one. I thank you especially for our diocese and ask that you would continue to work in it and bless it. Heavenly Father, <clears throat> I lift up the requests from Bishop Stephen um, in our last email. Um, he's imploring us and we implore you God, that you would come and dwell in our churches. You are doing mighty things in the, in the presence in these churches. And I, I ask that you continue to dwell in, in them. And, and Lord, I ask that you dwell within the people so that they may be more connected to you and to the spirit so that they are prepared to be the kind of people to inhabit the churches that have been placed in this diocese. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you for all the work you have done to prepare the way for Christ the King to have a home. Um, we see your hand in this and we thank you for it. And we ask that you continue to prepare the way for new churches to come into being, that if, if church planting is indeed uh, your will, that you will clear the way for us, that you will help us to see where and how you'd like to see churches planted, that you will uh, quicken the hearts of those you would have plant churches, that you will bring the means needed to make that work possible and that you will bring the workers into the field, that you will bring your workers into all the fields, that the missions we support, Jean Johnston and all the youth work we support and Cairo's prison ministry, which is finally having doors opened again and people are being allowed to go back into the prisons, that you will make all of these uh, missions and outreach works possible. And ones we don't even know about yet that you will bring before us. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to keep our hearts open to these works. Touch the hearts of the people at Christ the King to remember to take time each day to be with you and in your word, to hold up Bishop Stephen and Father Pete and his family, Deacon Bill, that these men can do the work you have called them to do, strengthened by our prayers and by your word each day. All these things we ask in your name. Oh Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for our diocese and we pray for uh, the standing committee and thank you for the good meeting that the standing committee had yesterday and reports from across the diocese of uh, how you're moving and impacting lives. 
transforming lives. And we pray, Lord, for the upcoming diocesan summer youth camp in uh, June at Glorietta. And we pray, Lord, that uh, youth from Christ the King will be able to go uh, to that and ask, Lord, that you bless the leadership that's putting this together and ask, Lord, for uh, your spirit's presence with the bishop and Trisha as they go on a vacation to California and ask for, for a refreshing time and pray for uh, good weather uh, for them. In Jesus' name, amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you'll grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.